morning good afternoon good evening depending on when you are seeing this video welcome to my channel okay nigerian investigative journalist david has been arrested or has been detained in zimbabwe you know he was in zimbabwe for something and he was detained so he put up the reason why he was detained so i landed zimbabwe earlier today and have been detained at harari airport inside a smelly lock room for nearly seven hours they said that despite using the travel document of a country with a visa-free relationship my detention my nationality is still nigeria and thus right i was processed for removal from their country and locked in a tiny room but i have heard nothing from anyone for several hours alongside a, a lady from uganda also a visa-free country i have been locked in a room with no window or toilet plus a bottle of pee on the floor now he also proceeded by saying that no one appeared to be in charge of anything and even though my return flight to addis has been rescheduled for tonight i'm still locked in the, in this room and I risk missing my flight. They appear to have forgotten that they have people in detention here. So that what David said after he was detained, and people have taken to social media to uh, call out uh, the uh, uh, the chairman of foreign affairs. Of, that is a big care. I don't know what her position. Now people are calling her out, telling her, telling, saying that she should come and help. Even though there are some people on social media also saying that David should be locked up in that place. Let me just give you a brief story of this David. David is uh, has been a critic. You know, he has been the one exposing Tinibu. He was the one that said that Tinibu has a Guinea uh, passport, so Tinibu is not qualified to be the president of Nigeria. He was also the one that revealed that the revealed that the uh, drug dealings of Tinibu. You know. That saying also that Tinibu is not fit to be the president of Nigeria. He was also the one that said, revealed that Tinibu forfeited some money to U.S. courts some years ago. You know, he, he has revealed many things. He have he has come up against. There was a time he came up against global com com uh, telecommunication. So David has done a lot of work in Nigeria uh, uh, media and. People, many people are supporting him right now because he's supporting P2B, and some people are not supporting him because he's not supporting uh, uh, Tinibu, President Tinibu. So, what do you think of this video? Do you think that David should be released? Do you think he should be kept uh, there, you know? Or do you think he should be extradited to Ninja, back to Nigeria and be prosecuted for? Uh, working against the president of nigeria what do you think go to the comment section drop your comments like this video subscribe to my channel thank you and see you in the next video